Why are grasshoppers getting so violent nowadays? Hey! What's up, my people? Zemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kamen Rider 01 DX Progress Hopper Blade. Uh, so here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front here, we have the blade, and we have the metal cluster hopper. Again, love that suit. On the side of the box, we have metal cluster hopper. On the other side of the box, we have the blade. Up top, we have hopper, blade, things and stuff, stuff and things. On the bottom, blade, things, stuff, caution, warnings, bloody, bloody, bloody. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shots. There's this, that, the other things and stuff, stuff and things. Warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And we have Sad Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along here, we have the Progress Hopper Blade, and this is the weapon for the Metal Cluster Hopper form. And it's pretty fun, I do quite like this. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. Well, that's upside down. Let's turn it around so you can see it right side. There we go, you can see the Grasshopper right there. Progress Hopper Blade, Ability Ultimate Strush. A little arrow there, done in some metallic paint. Let's flip it back around here. And we can see the Grasshopper in there, done all in silver. You can see the majority of the sword done in that highlighter green. Got some black here on the handle, silver for the trigger. Got some molded detail right back here. And we can just flip it around. Again, you got some molded detail. You got some more metallic paint there for the arrow. You got your on off switch right there. Your speaker is right there. Your battery compartment is right here. The batteries are included, so you don't have to worry about that. And you have Sad Pac Man! Just molded on it forever and shame. But there you have that. And uh, for a quick comparison, uh, here it is with the Attache Caliber. And I don't know if I can. See if I can get this going here. You can see here they are basically the same length there. Now one thing I thought was kind of weird about this is um, when I first saw the pictures of this sword, it seemed like, just from the way it's designed, it seemed like this section was going to like flip over like that or something. Like this was going to flip over this maybe or something. It seemed like that that's how this was going to work. But no, this is all just one solid piece. It doesn't move. But I Hey, it is what it is, but let's get down to the noises. So again, your on-off switch is right back here. So turn it on and we get... Changing to Lethal Weapon, Progress Hopper Blade. And as always, it tells you what it is in case you already forgot. And when we pull the trigger... You have a slash noise. Slishity slash. You got a nice bright LED that goes off in there. You can see the, uh, the grasshopper moves its legs, and the body also shifts forward a bit, which is pretty cool. Now, you can do a big attack right now. If you rapid fire the trigger five times, you will get this. Maybe you stand by, and pull the trigger. Explosions! And explosions. And now we can bring in the Zero One Driver because we can do another big attack here. And as you can see, we have Metal Cluster Hopper already in. So basically, we can do an attack by scanning the Progress Hopper Blade with the Metal Cluster Hopper key. And you can see there is an authorization point right here. You can if you want to. You can use the authorization point on the driver itself, but if you want to do things proper, then you use the one on the key. So just get it. And more explosions! And another thing we can do here is we can combine the Progress Hopper Blade with the Atash Kaliba. And it just connects right here. 
And we get... Docking Rise! Docking Rise, and there you go, you get this big double-bladed deal here. I guess you can hold like that, and that's, that's pretty cool. I like that. I dig that. I dig that. <laughs> so you get that going on. And when you pull the trigger... You get that attack. Now, one thing to note is that having the Progress Hopper Blade docked into the attached caliber does not affect the noises of the attached caliber at all. This will still make all the same noises. It's always just, it's, yeah, yeah, this is where my tongue stops working. It makes all the same noises it's always made. It just changes the noises on the hopper blade itself. So, there you have that. And we can do our big attack by authorizing it. explosions. And yes, this authorization point does also work with the authorized buster. But moving right along. And for those of you who are curious as to how this would look with the other attached weapons, here it is with the, uh, with the shotgun here. That's... That's what that looks like, you know, hey, it's a thing, thing you can do if you want to do it, so. A little disengage noise there. And with the, uh, with the arrow here, you kind of have to, well, you have to, you definitely have to, like, move this out of the way. Actually, you should probably just, uh, fold that in entirely. And that, that actually works. That, that works out pretty well, so. There you go. So there you have the Progress Hopper Blade, and uh, it's cool. I like it. You know, um, a bit too much of that highlighter green. I mean, granted, you'll you'll definitely never forget where you parked it. But all in all, it's cool. I dig the functionality. I dig the way you can combine it with the other attached weapons. So yeah, all in all, me likes, me likes. So there you go. Now I picked this up from Hobby Link Japan, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you're interested, such as CS Toys, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course, there's always eBay and Amazon. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some common Rider items. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Zero One playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is a common writer Zero One DX Progrise Hopper Blade. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Boom in your face.